Hi student, um, now we're going to talk about Boolean operators. If you remember, last lesson was about Boolean data type and we said Boolean data type, it could be true or false. And we said when we write true and false, we write it with capital letter T with capital letter F. So these are the Boolean data type. Now, what about Boolean operators? What are the operators? The operators are and or not. These are the three operators that I can use it when I doing some comparison. Which means what? If I if someone asks me true something true and something true what gonna be the result or something true and something false what will be the result or something false and something true what gonna be the result or false and something false what will be the result for or the same thing if I have something true or something true what is going to be the result or if I have something true or something false what will be the result or something false or something true what will be the result or something false or something false what will be the result and here for not it's easy what is not true and what is not false and actually I'm gonna start with this because this is the easiest one if I have something not true it will return false if I have something not false it can return true so this is easy but here for true and true what will be the result? Actually, the result will be here true. True and false, it will be false. False and true, it will return false. False and false, it will return false. Someone will tell me, wow, do I have to memorize it? I will give you a trick. You don't have to memorize it. Imagine in your head, true represent clear water. Water that you can drink it. And false, imagine that this is dirty water. So if someone give you clean water and add it to clean water, the result the water will be clean but if someone add clean water to dirty water the water at the end it will be dirty false if someone bring dirty water and add to it clean water unfortunately it can still dirty and if someone has dirty water and add to it dirty water it can be very dirty if I do the same thing with or, I have to think with this way. Someone give me a choice between clean water and clean water or clean water. So I'm going to choose clean water. But if someone give me a choice between clear water and dirty water, it's smart to choose the clean water. So can you see the difference true or false return true but here true and false return false if someone give me the choice between dirty water and clean water right away i'm going to choose a clean water but if i'm thirsty and i lost my way and i don't have a choice between dirty and dirty i don't have a choice i'm going to choose the dirty water and drink it i'm going to die so you see here it's very logic but how python think python think with this way 
with and you are mixing true and false but with or you have a choice this is the difference so let's take some example with python and see is python think with this way or not so i'm gonna open again python open the idol and i'm gonna test something i'm gonna see what between brackets four less than five close bracket and open bracket five less than six close bracket now i need to check this one the first bracket four less than five this is true and five less than six this is true so this is like true and true and we said when you have clean water and you add it to clean water the answer is going to be true here we go but if i do something like that if i type four less than five and i'm gonna open bracket i'm saying five greater than six now you will notice something four less than five this is true but five greater than six this is not true this is false so if you have a clean water and you add it to dirty water the result is going to be dirty false okay if i take an open bracket let's say one equal equal two close bracket or open bracket two equal equal two close bracket let's understand this one one equal to two impossible this is false two equal to two this is true so you have false or true that means someone offer you dirty water or you want clean water right away i'm gonna ask for clean so it's gonna be true what about if i'm saying not two greater than one two is greater than one yes this is true so what about not true it gonna return false right away without thinking this is gonna be the option now let's take this example i like it very much i'm gonna try to check how we can think about this one i have two plus two equal four this will return two plus two four four equal to four this is true perfect after that this one it's saying what two plus two equal to five is four equal to five this is 100 percent false and after that i have this one two time two equal to two plus two actually four equal to four so this is true now let's see the choices it's saying true and not false that means true and true so i'm mixing clean water with clean water with clean water right away the answer is going to be true right away and this and and or it can be more than two items going to be three items so if i have let's say uh, i have something like that false and true and true so i can say i'm gonna take the first two false and true dirty water and clean water if i'm mixing both it's gonna be dirty water and after that this dirty water i mix it with clean water it will be right away dirty water so you can make it more than two item and this is very very important how python think and how you think when you are creating your program how the answer is going to be at the end and this 
lesson is very important when you're going to create some statement with condition. And this is our next lesson. So it's very, very important to understand the Boolean data type and the Boolean operators to be able to start creating the if statement, for, for, for example. And you're going to put these conditions inside the if statement. So I hope you understood this lesson and thank you for your listening.